Describing themselves as survivors, we hear more from people who went to the Academy of Ivy Ridge near Ogdensburg after a Netflix documentary exposed the school's alleged abuse earlier this week. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruni live in studio with more of what the former attendees had to say and what they say they went through. Jeff, I spoke with three women who attended Ivy Ridge, all with unique experiences, but very similar stories. A smile on Jessica Bedford's face with classmates from the Academy at Ivy Ridge. But this picture doesn't tell the full story. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, and it still continues to be. Bedford spent 20 months at Ivy Ridge, sent by her father at 15 years old. One of hundreds of kids who attended what was marketed as a boarding school for troubled teens. But a Netflix documentary called The Program, Cons, Cults, and Kidnapping set to expose what these alleged victims call abuse, both physical and sexual. The reality is torture of children. I think the documentary missed the parts, you know, about how traumatizing it was to basically fight with people that you really love there, you know, just to get ahead, just to get out. It's like... That psychological warfare stays with you the rest of your life. Here, another attendee, Elizabeth, uses a computer at Ivy Ridge. She was sent there from June 2003 to October 2005. The brainwashing is really hard to, to articulate just like what that was like. Um, at some point, we just all had to conform because if, you know, we didn't do what they wanted or what they said, Nobody was there to protect us if we didn't do it. Alexa Brand may look familiar. She was in the documentary. While at Ivy Ridge, her parents were told her mandatory drug test, quote, lit up like a Christmas tree, despite her having never done drugs. Still, she says the made-up story became one Ivy Ridge used to show the program's success. It literally has been the biggest thorn in my side my entire life. <laughs> um, I mean, even when I talk to my family, they're like, we believe you about everything. It's still really hard for us to get past this, you know, idea that you were using. She recalls the lengths people would go to in an attempt to go home. There were suicide attempts, you know, in order to try to get home because maybe our parents will, you know, actually want us back. And the saddest thing in the world was seeing these girls being taken to the hospital and then watching them come back. Bedford says the only good thing to come out of Ivy Ridge, the family she created there. We will last forever. No one knows what we went through like we do. So we are each other's biggest support system. At the time of these allegations, when 7 News covered the story, we spoke with the director of Ivy Ridge, and he denied all allegations of abuse, calling the stories made up. Jeff. Lexi Bruning, thank you.